Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, or vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So this, uh, uh, if you, so if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. As I always say, just please take what resonates and, uh, just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, I always say, let the cards fall where they may. Um, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, you can stick around and sometimes, you know, there could be messages throughout this that jump out and just speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be there. So Scorpio, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, if this doesn't resonate, you can always feel free to uh, check out your other readings for this month, Scorpio, which should be pinned in the corner of the screen. All right, so let's start your reading. And I was going to say, because I'm finding this quite difficult to to um, process, let's say that. So usually what I do is I'll, I'll just read the, the, you know, read it, read the cards as they are, or read what I'm picking up. Um, and hopefully you guys kind of, or usually you guys will kind of make sense of it. Um, okay, so we've got, when we're looking at the past, we're starting from the past, we've got the Justice card. The Justice card talks about, you know, wanting some form of apology or justice needing to be served ultimately. So that's the energy of the past. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's an apology that's needed or, um, yeah, decision. We've got the, the, something around having made a decision um, regarding the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Is it a, some form of injustice happens and justice needs to be served in some way, shape or form. You're coming up as being indecisive about something in relation to this, but still kind of being content with that. There's no anxiety around that or there's no stress around that indecisiveness for you. You're kind of fine, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's in this indecisiveness about taking... Um, embarking on this journey, embarking on this new chapter. We've got the fall card. The fall is the beginning, you know, of the journey. So the tarot deck represents a, the fall's journey. So it's a journey through life. And the fall is, of course, the, the beginning of that journey. The fall represents taking a risk, um, not knowing how things are going to turn out, but willing to take the journey anyway, it represents an, an adventure, but also represents a naivety around that as well. But for this, this is more about being indecisive on taking this journey or uh, moving ahead in some way, but being okay with that. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. There's no stress around that. For them, there is this, you're dealing with someone who's very strong. We've got the emperor card here. So mentally within their character, maybe this could be the position that they hold in life in terms of their career status. The emperor talks about is like, you know, um, the leader of uh, the pack. The, the emperor is more a dominant type of energy, um, CEO, the, uh, head of the family, that type of thing, but also very much emotionally mature, stable, reliable, loyal. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So we've got the two, not wanting to see something around love and her. We've got that three of swords as well. 
So they're not wanting to see something. They're not wanting to deal with something. They're not wanting to deal with something. So like this person maybe gets, where do I want to go from that? I don't want to run down that train of thought, but I'm going to say it anyway. But like this person might be triggered or gets triggered by something which causes them to, or has caused them to, and this is again the past, um, maybe to not want to deal with, with something, not wanting to deal with something. Let's say that. Okay. Yeah. Got the queen of pentacles, build something, establish something, um, on a tangible level though. So that's the past, uh, which brings us to where we are at the moment. We got the magician card. So the magician card, for, for those of you familiar with, with, with the tarot deck, the magician card represents the magician ultimately. Um, having all the tools, the magician has all the tools in order for you to make something happen. We've got the yes there. So the tools are, you know, the, which represents the different, um, uh, well, it's not categories, but different suits within a deck. So all the tools in order for this to, to make something happen. To have that as your current state, it means that this relationship or this connection has all the tools and the resources in order for, to, for this to, to, to turn into something. You've made a decision about something. Not sure what that decision is about, but we do have that three of swords there in your thinking. And again, we've got that indecisive card there. We'll touch on that in a minute. This person feels stuck. They're showing off as the hangman. Stuck, not moving. Yeah. Stuck, not moving. Thinking. What thinking about moving ahead as well. Thinking about moving forward. I'm going to clarify that because it's moving forward towards what? What's going on here? Told you guys I find it quite challenging to uh, articulate this reading. So I'm hoping that you guys are, and you know, write, write in the comment, let me know what you're thinking as well. It'd be so harsh. <laughs> but the high priestess towards commitment, high commitment. Stability, yeah. And then we've got the chariot card. Chariot and all decks don't mean for me uh, indecisiveness. It's, this is more about charging ahead positively. So this person still wants to move forward. It's thinking about moving forward. We've got the high priestess which talks about higher commitment. Their challenge is, is the fall. Their challenge is, is that fall. Being able to balance their thinking around this. I feel like this person going back to this stuck type of energy there lack of clarity yeah the lack of there's a lack of clarity around this and they're finding it quite challenging to balance their thinking quite challenging to process things but yeah we do have that nine of cups there which talks about emotional happiness but again there's a lack of clarity around that and then we have that eight which talks about moving towards that nine so their challenge is actually trying to figure out what's going on. They're miffed, going back to that hang, hangman. That's why they're stuck. They feel stuck. It's because they confuse this confusion for this person. And that also represents what they're wanting. We've got the confusion card there, which we'll clarify in a minute. But I want to get back to you. I want to get back to what this three of swords represents. Um, sometimes that's fear. Sometimes that's pain, hurt, heartbreak, hurt. Confusion. Ah, and then we've got the star card, healing. I'm glad to see that, that, that star card there, which represents healing. But there's confusion around this. Um, we've got the wanting to create something new and heal. But I feel like there's confusion around how to do that more so for you. Something's coming up for you. We've got that three of swords. So either fear or pain, past heartbreak, past hurt. And there's confusion around how to actually fix that so you can embrace this opportunity to create something. Indecisiveness is coming from, and that's where it's breeding this indecisiveness. It's making you cautious, very cautious. We've got the Knight of Cups, which is a very much slow-moving card. Slow-moving energy, hesitating. Moving, but very slow, even cautious. Yeah, got the seven of pentacles again, which you also have here. 
sorry, which you also have here. So there's, of course, you. it's not seven of pentacles. Let me just kind of explain what the seven of pentacles is. The seven of pentacles for me is is this um, putting work into something, but not seeing the return on your investment, not seeing things turn out the way you would like, the way you would hope. It's that, that type of thing. And that's what you're kind of seeing. But you're wanting this three of pentacles, which talks about relationship, collaboration, coming together, teamwork. You're wanting that, but it's like it's, it's you know, still wanting to put work into it, though. That's this is This is your want now. Still wanting to put work into it. Yeah. And this person is, there's confusion there. There's confusion there. Something around them feeling like temperance. Yeah, they wanted to balance their thinking, balance their emotions around this. Want to see that, yeah. It's like, should I give up on this? They've got that choice that they're wanting to make. It's like, I know I need to make this choice. Should I give up on this? And lose this, take a risk on losing this. Because they're confused. They're confused. Yourself is dealing with, like I said, I'm just going to read the cards and read what I'm picking up. I find it quite difficult to interpretate this guy. So hopefully um, you guys are understanding what's going on here or it's resonating. Like I said, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but don't be so harsh. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to pick from what's not there. And usually we move into part two of the reading. And we kind of get a picture on where this moves to. As it stands at the moment, um, there's just some stuff that needs to be ironed out when it comes to mainly yourself with that three of swords. This person is in a bit of confusion, um, wanting to decide or wanting to make a choice about whether to leave this or not, to take a loss on this or not. For you, it's more about working through what needs healing, what needs fixing, this confusion, in order for you to then embrace that ace of wands and come out of this indecisive energy but hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week